Hello, YouTube. Welcome and welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. Today, I went to Dollar Tree. I did do a bit too much, but that is okay. That's okay. These are a lot of items that we need and use. So let's just jump right into it because it's going to be a really big haul. First of all, I got a lot, a lot of different body washes. Most body washes are some. Some of the body washes you buy at Dollar Tree be very watery and liquidy. And I watch a lady called Thrifty Tiffany. She has a wonderful, wonderful channel. If you want to go over there and check her out, she does great hauls from the Dollar Tree. Um, but she says that when you get that watery uh, bubble bath or watery uh, body wash, just use it for bubbles in your bath. So that will keep, help keep you from wasting it or else even trying to use it and it's not um, efficient or it's not, you know, it's not, not making any progress with cleaning your body. So I did get this VO5 3-in-1 Men Shampoo Conditioner Body Wash. It's the Ocean Breeze one, and it is an 18 fluid ounce. It is bigger for one, and I believe it's going to be a pretty good one. I'm going to have my son, Deucey, try this out and see how he like it. See how he like it. It smells really good and everything, but I'm going to see how Deucey likes it. So I did get this for him, and I already have another one in the closet. I already have one of these in the closet, but it's a different scent. And I want to see if he likes these. What I'm trying to do is make sure that I know what's a really good product at Dollar Tree to buy in case I cannot get it on sale or with a coupon at other stores. You know, Dollar 25 pretty much can't beat it. I loved it when it was a Dollar Tree, but Dollar 25 pretty much can't beat it. I'm just keep on going with the with the uh, haul today. I did. I got these again. Okay. See, what I told you is I'm trying out the body washes from Dollar Tree to try to see which ones are pretty good, you know. So, White Rain, normally I don't get it because the bottle be too small. But now they have these new sizes, bigger value, and must be a much better product. Because this one, these are 18 fluid ounce. They're pretty big, 18 fluid ounces. And this is the Ocean Mist, Moisturizing Ocean Mist. And this one is the Lavender escape we've had these we've used them we was using them last week these are good the body wash is pretty thick and everything it smells real good it is these are really good to use as body wash so now i have a go-to body wash for a dollar 25 when that suave is not on sale at kroger for 99 cent you know i can get these and then a lot of times with coupon and i buy it you can get body washes for less than a dollar but not all the time so when i Need to just go get some body wash. Dollar 25 for these two. These, I'm telling you, they're thicker. They smell good and they wash your body very well. I really like these two right here. So I only got two of those today, one of each scent. But I do plan on stocking up on them. I don't, I don't know. Though. I think I have quite a bit of body wash now, but it is what it is. And I wanted to try some more different body washes. That's why I didn't just really stock up on them today. Um, these right here. I've heard a lot of good reviews about the arm and hammer i just couldn't bring myself to buy the little 12 fluid ounce so these are 15 ounces now they're 15 ounces now and this is the arm and hammer body wash and this is uh, ultra replenishing and uh this one right here is ultra moisturizing so and this one is your clear water scent and this one right here is just simply fresh scent simply fresh and this one is your clear water scent and these are both 15 fluid ounces. The white rain is 18 fluid ounces. So you get a little bit more for your money. But I'm going to try these two out. These out right here. The Armour Hammer ones out. I've heard a lot of good reviews about them. So hopefully they're pretty good. Hopefully they're pretty good. I, I think men and women can use the Armour Hammer one. So, And I, I've actually heard men uh, do Dollar Tree uh, hauls and, and talk about that Armour Hammer one. So I did get this one also. Zest. I believe this is a... I probably should have got a little more than this, but, but this Zest, Zest is a really good body wash. Now in the Dollar Tree, they give you a little bit more. This one is a 15.2 fluid ounce, and they normally only give you 10 to 12 ounces. I know it's really small, 10 to 12 ounces, but they're stepping up at Dollar Tree. They're giving you a little bit more in these body washes and stuff. And when I see the bonus sizes, I'm going to get up and try. This is Zest Simply, so we're going to see. And I don't know. Oh, okay, this is Fresh Aqua. So I'm going to try this one also. 
Both of these are a little smaller. That's the only thing, you know. The white rain probably would be the dominant one in my stock because it's just a bigger bottle. And it is what it is. But if these are real good too, I have some go-tos when I don't see that white rain one. Because there wasn't many in there this evening. So, um, all the Dollar Trees I go to don't be having really that big of a selection. So, I know people are going there and they're buying it. I think I got one more body wash. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the seventh body wash. I did get another one of those VO5 3-in-1 men. But the one in, in the... um. And the stock pile is like a dark blue color or something like that. So this is 18 fluid ounce. So I'm glad, I'm glad. I'm going to always probably get the 18 fluid ounce. But I am going to be trying different body washes at the Dollar Tree. Just to see how they smell and how they feel. A lot of times if they're a little thicker and stuff. Yeah, this one right here is a little thicker. So I'm hoping this works for Ducey. Uh, I might put this one in for my husband, Boo. You know, and just see what he thinks. He loves his Dove body wash, period. And before that, he was a right guard guy. He don't really venture out too much. So I might put this one in there just for him to wash up, like when he do his hair and stuff like that. Like when he cut his hair off and stuff like that, he'll, he'll use a shampoo, just any kind of shampoo or body wash to do it with. This is the shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So I, I'm thinking about probably putting this in our bathroom because... Um, he usually, he usually uses the Suave 3 in 1 body wash to do um, his hair with. And I think it's only 15 fluid ounce. So this is 18 fluid ounce. If he'll use this, you know. But I can always get the Suave very inexpensively too. So, okay, enough about that. Uh, let me get a little smell on it. Yeah, I mean, all of them, they smell real good. The body wash is, they're smelling good and they're getting so much better at the Dollar Tree. Okay, let me show you something else I got for our house, which is. These two soap dispensers, they're white, they're clear, aesthetically pleasing. I will be using these. I'm not going to put no kind of label or anything on them. They'll just be like this in our bathrooms. I just want to use these, and I hope they last for a while. We're going to see. Definitely soap, hand soap dispensers. And I truly plan on going back and stocking up on that 25 cent hand soap that I, I found, you know, and that way I can continue to refill these. Just with, I mean, I had stopped buying hand soap, period. I had bought hand soap in a while, months, months, and months, and months. So when I found the 25 cent hand soap, I only got about four because that was something I really had stopped buying. I was refilling these with um, shampoo because we were getting shampoo. I had like a boatload of shampoo, so much shampoo. And we was getting it for free and cheap all the time. And hand soap, it wasn't so often that we got it really cheap. Couponers, you know, that's what I'm referring to. The coupon community or even the sale discount clearance community. We wasn't, I wasn't finding the hand soap real cheap all the time. But I do, I know a Kroger that has um, boatloads of the hand soap, antibacterial hand soap on sale for just 25 cents a bottle. And I'll just refill these as, you know, all as I can. I need to get back there. It's probably almost all gone or maybe gone about a week ago. All right, but I got these two hand soap dispensers for both bathrooms. Um, my bathrooms are gonna be white, navy, and orange, or white, gray, and orange. White, gray, and orange. I do have some navy going on in our main bathroom from when I first did it, but I really want the aesthetics through my home to mainly be white, gray, and orange, but with a hint of black and brown because a, a lot of our furniture is just black and brown, period. So with a hint of black and brown, which means does any furniture that's already black and brown, uh, you know, it'd be just too much to be trying to buy bigger pieces of furniture over and over because you know, it's just gonna cost too much money to try to replace all of those, okay? Um, I also got two of these. I got two of these. Um, these are your, I use the microfiber, and I used to didn't care for these. I used to did not care for the way they feel. I used to just did not care for the way they feel. But I have been using one pack that I had got a while ago. And it was a five pack. So that's why I've been having it for a long time. I'll probably switch out our dish towels once a month. So I've probably been having it for about five months plus, you know, because that last five months, you got to use it. But anyway, I knew it was coming time for me to have to get some more. So I got two of these. And I might go back and get two more. That way I'll have 20 of these. And man, that part going to last us over a year, you know, for the uh, dish towels. And, and then I plan on doing an under the sink uh, organized. Just 
I just want to tidy up under the sink. And um, I plan on doing that. And I will have, you know, just the main things that I use in the kitchen all the time, have them stocked up and put under there and ready to go at all times. So I got two of these, but I really need to go get two more. And then I'll probably be stocked up for the year. It's great to get stocked up. No, three of these will stock me up for the year. If I do one a month, three will stock me up for the year. So I'm going to stop right there. I only need one more gray pack because uh, most of my home is going to be that gray, white, and orange orange aesthetic. You know, I'm just, just doing it just to, you know, you know how they go. But that is great. I need to get one more of those. I haven't stopped it for the year. I did get these. This is a big um, nail clipper. I need a bigger one. So I'm going to add this to my nail, my nail, you know, uh, beauty stash that I got going on. I just got it all in one spot right now. I need to get it more organized. So that's one part of my life I need to get organized. You know, a dab will do. Every, you know, like today, this is a dab because I'm, I got quite a few items that will help me organize. I got stocked up on a lot of items that were very inexpensive, only $1.25 each. That is so, so awesome. So these are the big nail clippers. This is the Sashi Cheek, Cheek um, brand, but you know what? I've seen so many people thrill, not thrill, but um, haul some really nice bigger clippers. So if I, if I'm going to see if these work for me. If they don't work for me, I'll go and look for some better ones. But if these work for me, this is going to be it for my, um, to be able to clip my nails down and, and uh, toenails down and stuff too with these. Okay. Definitely needed those. All right. Keep it going with the household stuff and different stuff that we were needing. I got two of these containers. These are uh, 11 by 9. Wait, no, it don't say it. It doesn't say exactly how big they are. But it's going by cups and stuff. So they, they're saying that you could fill this up, probably with sugar and rice and all that. But no, I got these for a different reason. I'm all, you guys know we do eat out heavily. We eat out heavily. We're always getting extra forks and spoons that are, uh, I love it too, getting those separate forks and spoons that are individually wrapped. And as a matter of fact, I got some right here in my drawer. Like this. I've been keeping a lot of them in my drawer. And then I got a lot of them in a cabinet that's in the kitchen. Because you know what Duna Bug will do? Duna Bug and Tink, they will get these and just open them all up. I don't know what they got going on, but they will open them all up. So after they have done many, many, many like that, when I get them from now on now, I put them up in my drawer but anyhow it's for these and i was hoping that uh so i got two of them one for my forks one for my spoons and when they both get filled up um you know i'll start using the other ones or doing away with them you know it is what it is what i don't need or i'm not using i just do away with them and i believe this will be enough to sustain us we do not buy plastic forks and spoons we have so many so now here's the test to see it's gonna be tall enough for the fork and spoon Yes, yes, I can put all my forks, my plastic, you know, individually wrapped forks in here, and then all the spoons in this one. And uh, I don't, the spout is to pour stuff out of and everything. I'm using this for my plastic forks and spoons because it just it is needed, okay? It is needed. I don't know what I have going on here. Wait a second now. Somebody had said they didn't too much like these. I don't know if I, do I got it on backwards or what? I don't think I got it on backwards. You see, I'm talking about right there, but dollar twenty-five, you don't get too mad at it, you know. Okay, it's gonna take. It's going to take a little bit to try to get back in there and get the fork out. Lord have mercy. But this, and I guess they want it to be super sealed and stuff. If you're keeping stuff like sugar and rice in there, though. Oh, my Lord. I love this. For my forks and spoons, I can't wait to organize this. I will be organizing them with you, you guys, um, um, in a video or two from now or maybe soon. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. I really don't know. Help me, help me, help me. I don't know if I'm going to uh, do vlogging time, but check out Chastetic's uh, channel. Check it out, check it out. My daughter, you everybody know her. Tippy is doing um, 
vlogging time. And so check out all her videos. She got so many great ideas for vlogging time. Just different videos referring to Valentine's Day. The only, the only, the only, um, the only um, holiday that I really go all out for is Christmas. I really kind of really enjoy Christmas. Even Thanksgiving, I'm going to cook, but that's about it. I really just enjoy uh, Christmas. I really do. And I plan on building on what I already got for Christmas. But I used to do different stuff for Valentine's, but I don't do too much no more. And this year, yes, um, I already have something for my sweetheart for Valentine's Day. Because I always miss Sweetie's Day. I don't even think about Sweetie's Day. Who made up Sweetie's Day? I mean, I just don't know much about Sweetie's Day. I, I've never really known too much about Sweetie's Day. But I do. I definitely I got him something for Valentine's Day because I always do miss Sweetie's Day. Sweetie's Day, I believe, is like August 21st. October. I'm sorry. October 21st is Sweetie's Day, I think. So, but anyway, oh, I got this right here. I can't wait till I start. I'm going to do a little bit of organizing that day with these little different uh, containers that I got, which is such, such a blessing. So, I got those. And with the forks and spoons, getting them organized, it's going to be so wonderful. They're all over the place. I got a few in this drawer, a few in the cabinet up, up there in my kitchen. I want to get them in one spot. And once these get filled, no more are coming in or out. When I see them, I'm just going to trash them until I need some more in here. Because I know forever and a day, we'll be going out and getting those extra spoons and forks. And that is such a blessing. I ain't going to say we're not buying them because we are getting stuff from restaurants. But, yeah, we, we can really need those, use those. We don't have to, you know, worry about those at all. Okay, going on with the household thing. Got a shower curtain. I really wasn't trying to shower curtain liner. We definitely need a new liner. So, it got all dirty and icky. So, I'm going to definitely pull that one and put a new one up there. And this what it is. They're only $1.25 at Dollar Tree. This is something I need to stock up on. I probably haven't changed that liner in about at least four months. So I'm gonna say two months. Every two months I might change it. But what I'm gonna do is probably get 12 of these. I need to get about 12 of these. I know I'll be set for the whole year. But I don't want folks just grabbing them and changing it out. But I doubt anybody will do that. You know, it's too much like right. So <laughs> um I get about 12 of these, I'll be stuck there for the year. But this one I'm just gonna switch out in the in the um bathroom and from now on out. Probably get like three or four at a time until I get my 12. And that's going to be it. I, probably, I might just do 10 because I know I'm not going to go through 12 in a year. I'm going to cut that down to 10. You know, just you know, like even with these tiles right here, I said I'm going to get just one more instead of two more packs. I know that'll do me for a year. And with this right here, I'm going to get probably hmm, eight. I'm not even going to get 10. I know eight of them would do me for a year. I'm pretty sure. So, yep. Uh, I want to start stocking up on stuff for a year. So, look, this stuff like here, this right here, I ain't all the rest of the year. I'm not going to have to worry about it. And believe you me, after this video, I'm making a list. I'm making a list of what I need to go and finish stocking up on. Shower curtains, dish towels, plus uh, the bigger dry towels. They're hand towels, and you can buy them in Dollar Tree. I don't like the, the other. It, well, you'll see when I buy it. But I may have to get them at Walmart. But we will see. I want to load up on those. That's what I use to dry some of the dishes that we don't put in the dishwasher. So I need to load up on those. I also got, well, I guess I didn't want to get into the food items I got until I finished with everything else that we needed for the household. Um, I got one of these uh, ice trays. I've been wanting one of these ice trays. They got this little, like, uh, big dollar tree. Y'all doing too much. Y'all gonna make for sure I can't get in there. Eh? Okay, so yeah, this right here <laughs> that you got to open up, you know, right here. I'm gonna soapy water, warm water, clean them very, very well and get started. I love ice. I love all my drink stuff. Cool. And right here is where you can pour it in. You ain't got to take this top off to pour it in. I did not know that now. I did not know that. Oh, wow. I'm going to love this. I love having cold stuff to drink. Right now, I'm going to probably go in there and do up my water for tomorrow and I'm going to put it when I say do up I fill up my big old water jug then my wonderful one for daughter Cindy got me for Christmas fill it up but then I do always put packets in there I do always put some packets and stuff in my water because I don't like to drink water straight but whatever I, it, I have really been drinking my water so it is what it is fill that up and set it in the refrigerator to cool overnight but what if I'm trying to use it right then and there I have me some ice oh I will ice it down yes 
Okay, well, that's gonna look real good, real good right there. So I'm gonna try to get these done up tonight. I got two of them. You see, I just one. I got two. I'm on the way to other one too. Oh hell, no. I think the rest of this. Oh, I'm gonna say the rest of it food items, but it's not. I did find these. Look at these, y'all. Look at these. You can't, you can't straight up see past them, but probably it's four of them. So. Yeah, but you can see through them a little bit better like this. I think they're clear. They're clear. They're aesthetically pleasing. I love these. And you guys know, as you guys know, I just did my snack cabinet. So, this, this is how I know we got enough snacks. It is what it is. I'm going to line them up in the two baskets. Boom. This is for the sweets. This is for the sweets and boom this is for our savory snacks at the bottom if these two bins are filled we got enough snacks we need to eat them up and then what we'll do is get some more but if we have room i will push the ones that we already got to the front and then go from there those um if anybody watched that video we put little cookies and little chips in zip bags and give them to the kids that's better than giving them the whole bag to go pour in the floor or to get all over everything or the waste or whatever so from now on out, I got about, it's about, I'm finna pull them out. I'll probably pull them out this weekend and see who gonna eat what of the zip bag and then throw them out. I'm gonna stop leaving those zip, little zip bags in there. We just have a bigger thing. We don't want to waste it though. We don't be wasting stuff. So hopefully these will help us stay more organized. Hopefully with that. Cause I, I, I still wasn't really, it's so neat and nice. I can see everything and stuff, but I still, I just, I need a little more structure there for the sweets and the savory. Uh, you'll see when I do utilize these in the snack cabinet, I, I really, I really need to, you know, be a little more organized in our snack cabinet. Okay. And I just, this is just going to help it be even more, um, even more organized. Cause I already, it's real clean, neat and organized right now. And it's not many snacks in there now. So a grocery haul probably is coming up very, very soon. Cause as you can see, I haven't been going to the grocery so much. I ain't been going much. Thanks, Pepper Pantry. Thanks to anybody who Pepper on YouTube. I've been watching a few, just a few videos. So, you know, I ain't got time to sit down and do too much. But I try to take uh, maybe 30 minutes to an hour out of my day. But sometimes I get a little bit of time to be uh, watching the videos while I'm listing in my uh, store. So, just... I'm very thankful and I'm glad to have our stock that we have. We have room to grow in our stock, so there will be another pepper pantry haul. I got a few items. Speaking of that, I got a few items today to put into our pepper pantry. All right, so this right here is the shrimp ramen. I got two of them. This is a five pack, five coming in. I think a dollar twenty-five for five is really good. That's only a quarter for. Uh, ramen noodle. Um, I, don't, I don't know what they be having them. I know some places do have them. 35 cent. 28 cent. So 25 is on the cheaper side. Don't know for sure. But I just really think it's a good deal. And you know we have chili. Roasted chi chicken. Regular chicken. But we do not have shrimp. And I, I'm the one who really likes shrimp. Some of my daughters might like it too. And um, I really want to get some of the creamy chicken but we haven't been able to find that in a while i got two of these to go into the pepper pantry yeah they got beef and all that well what's the purple kind soy sauce and one of them is what and one of them hot and spicy beef so if i see the hot and spicy beef go back here and show you all the varieties they have so if I see the hot and spicy beef or the soy sauce one, I'm gonna get one pack just to try it, just to try it. Both of those, they both sound pretty good to me. To me it does. I got the big three little coat. I know, I know, I know. I really had, my stomach was like, kind of like messing with me a little bit, I don't know. Um, we need to take a couple of Tums. Yeah, they're all fine and dandy. And a lot of people use a Sprite for that or they will use that good old American ginger ale. But my mama used to always get a Coke. And this is not a Coca-Cola, but it is a Coke. So I'll probably put me some of this on ice when, we finish, when I finish this video. 
I probably will. My mom always used a Coke. Ugh. But that's probably ginger ale, you know, it'll, it'll ease you on down. I, I believe anything with a little acid will go ahead and just kind of ease that down. Don't know for sure. And it's something that fried food will do. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Will it take your drink down? When I used to drink, which I still drink, I'll drink occasionally. I think the last time I had a drink was... See, if I can't even remember the last time I had a drink, maybe I just don't drink. But I will drink, like, for the New Year's I bring. You know, I, I'll drink a glass of champagne and stuff. But I didn't this year. I didn't eat stuff. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I didn't drink nothing while I was in Arizona. I have not drunk nothing since I've been here in Alabama. Um, my Lord, my Lord. I do... A year or two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say at least three years or four years. I haven't drunk anything, and even before that, I might would drink some champagne on New Year's, like a glass of champagne. So uh, I'm just not. I just don't drink. I guess I don't want to say I don't drink, and I will drink a glass of champagne every once in a while. You know, it, it is what it is. That just me. <laughs> but anyhow, anywho. But I think when I used to drink, I remember that if I ate some fried food, it would help bring your high down. I don't know. I can't remember if that's what it was. Because it's been so dang long ago. Lord have mercy. But I did find these. I didn't think they'd be having the Kool-Aid gels in there. I didn't think they do, but they might do. I thought there was a new product I had found or something. But I like finding those, like, you know, those overstocks in um, Dollar Tree where they send it to Dollar Tree. I love finding that type of stuff. But anyway, I did get 4D for the kiddos. Me too. I love Jello. I love any kind of Jello. The green, red, purple, blue, whatever. I love Jello. Now, I got these right here. For doing a bug. Dang it, while I was in there, I should have got a big box of saltine crackers. He has been loving him some peanut butter and crackers here lately. And I give it to him for a snack. And my husband said, don't give him too much, yeah, because you will, <laughs> yeah, it, it, uh, you know, it'll make it hard for you to go to the bathroom sooner or later. You eat too much peanut butter. But these are the the toasty peanut butter crackers right here. And it comes with, it said it comes with six packs. And each pack got four in them. So six packs, I thought it was just four. Thank you, Lord. Seems like this will last him for a while. I think Tink liked these, too. So, these will be for him and Tink. So, they'll really enjoy these. I'm going to get one of these when I leave out of here. You hear me? They're running their mouth playing right in front of the door. That's because they know. Oh, I thought there's something on my sweater. They know I'm in here trying to do a video. And they're just waiting for me to hit that door. They're waiting on me. Then, Dunabug did pick up these mic. Dunabug was with me while I was in Dollar Tree today. He picked up these mac and I.T. You like the sour ones. Are you the sour ones? No, this is just the original fruit candies. But uh, sometimes what I do is say, do the bug. Let me have some mac and ice or whatever. I get one or two. These mac and ice are good. No wonder he'd be liking to get them. He loves these mac and ice. So I got those for doing the bug. Him and Tink and share those. I don't know if Tink going to like those or not. Got some more tortillas. I just like having tortillas. A pack of tortillas literally sitting on top of the toaster oven. For anything, man, me and Yavin, we just did some um, beef bean wraps. Uh, I'll be buying the um, refried beans in the can. Most time, they never cost more than 60 cents a can, something like that. Just very cheap when you get them with a coupon or a rebate or whatnot. And we smear a little of beans on there. And then I had chopped up an onion, put that onion on there with some cheese. And then you dip it, dip it in sour cream. All you do is warm it in the microwave about thirty or forty minutes. That's some. That's the best one of the best snacks you can ever have. One of the best snacks. But you know what I need to get? I need to get some regular pepperoni. I probably would love to put the pepperoni on there with a little bit of, of sauce or something. It, I don't know. I really don't know about just having oh a little jar of pizza sauce out of the Dollar Tree. It's just a dollar twenty-five. Now I'll be willing to open that and put it in the refrigerator just for about a week or so. You know, don't want it to go bad in there. Pepperoni, sauce, cheese, and wrapped up in this is also really good. But you know what I really love doing? I don't like them soft. That's probably why I did not enjoy that last um, bean burrito thing I made. I like to put it in a skillet with a little butter and, and grill it on each side. Kind of like I do my quesadillas. I like it like that. So I know that's what I'm going to have to do. When I'm too lazy and want to throw it in the microwave, I don't even need to do it. Because I didn't even enjoy that. Like, I didn't enjoy it like I wanted to. But when I grill it on each side, woo, you're talking about good. You can put anything in a tortilla and make you a good snack. All right, there we go. So I got those just to throw in the kitchen. Then, nacho cheese. This is some nacho cheese. 
with the pop top. Nacho cheese with the pop top. And I will be, you know, there are some things that go on with the pop tart where, and one of the cans were dented, so I did put that can back and I got this can that was real good because if it be open and it spoils that food in there and you eat it or something, you might get sick or anything like that, anything could happen. So you definitely want to watch out for your pop tops and make sure that they're sealed well and everything. And I always wash off the top of your cans and stuff. I know most people probably do, but you know, it is what it is, just saying it. And um, this is the nacho cheese sauce. This is a pretty good size can. It's a 10.5 fluid ounce. So it's not really real a real big can. At one time I bought, I was buying the 15 ounce cans, you know. I love to have these nacho, this nacho cheese sauce for the kids. They love to dip their fries. Whatever they have, the chicken strips, whatever, the chicken nuggets. They like to dip it. Maybe in the cheese sauce or anything else. But they make the look. I only got one of these. I started to stock up on these and put them in my pepper pantry. But I did not. Because when I open this can, we normally don't use the whole can. We normally just do not use the whole can. And we threw away one can of the nacho cheese. And in, in a regular grocery store, that nacho cheese can cost 3 to $4. I don't know why it's that high. And it's just a 15 ounce. This 10 ounce, and I only got it for $1.25. So, long story short on that, we don't use it like that. But I got this, you know, because we'll probably use this one can in the next month or two. Um... What I want to find is, I'll probably pop up a picture on the screen. No, nah, I probably won't. But anyhow, yeah, I hope y'all know what I'm talking about. It's a little cup. It's a little cup that you can peel back. Little plastic cups of nacho cheese that you can buy. It'd be four of them connected together. I want to buy those type of nacho cheeses. That way I can just open it up. The kids can dip it and throw it away, you know. So I, want, I do want to stock up on that in my pepper pantry. That's a stock up I want to get. But I just got this, you know. To do this until I find those. And those are kind of expensive. But I hope I can find something in Dollar Tree. I see I found that, you know. Oh, is that everything? You guys, that is everything. I'm looking over here under my bed and stuff. Because I had two of these ashtrays. So I hope I come across the other ashtray. I might have left it in the car, though. They might have just left it in the car. That's all that was. Last but definitely not least, thank you for joining me. And if you've been with me this whole time, please give the video a thumbs up and uh, share the video if you want to. People love Dollar Tree Hauls, and I got a lot of stuff that my family use and need. Use and need, you know, just stick to that and you'll be good to go. And a lot of times you can find some real good treasures in Dollar Tree. Woo! You be finding some good stuff in there. I really do appreciate that when I can find it at about a dollar, you know. Really, really can, really do appreciate that. Okay, and this is the softy, the black gel. I'm going to open it up. I know the black gel. Uh, who, who who likes the black gel? Nobody does. But uh, right before Valentine's Day is probably when I wash my hair. Come here, husband and I, we do plan on going uh, to date night for Valentine's Day. And I got him a little gift and stuff like that. So, um... I'm going to wash my hair then. So I can be using this black gel up until then. I don't too much like to use it and stuff like that. But I will. When I can't get that eco. I, I pretty much have stopped using that eco. But I'm going to start talking about my natural hair. A little bit more to you guys. In my next uh, wash day video. But uh, I'm going to use this up until I wash it. Which will be probably next week. Or the next. You know somewhere within the next couple of weeks. I will definitely be having a good wash day. Pulling myself, pulling the hair together as it is. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for listening. Ooh, that was a lot of stuff, but all of it I can use, I love, and I need. And I'm really just trying out a lot of different Dollar Tree products, especially that is full size that I can use for me and my family when they're not on sale at these other stores. And y'all know 95% of my shopping is at Kroger. So it is what I'm trying to just limit myself. And I recently came up became a part of the Kroger delivery um of Kroger delivery so uh I'm doing that 30-day free trial so hopefully somebody can get in on that a 30-day free trial of Kroger delivery all right you guys thank you for joining me thank you for listening and until next time YouTube stay blessed